Hi, I'm Rochelle with Originally Worn, and in this video, I'm going to show you how we paint and wax this really cool uh, piece of furniture. But first, before I do that, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can find us all over social media under Originally Worn. So the first thing we need to do is prep our piece of furniture. Now, when you're using Annie Sloan paints, you don't have to sand or prime, but you do need to clean it really well. In this video, we're gonna test out this crud cutter, no rinse pre-paint cleanser, and I'll put a link to it in the um, description below in the video. But basically we're going to spray it, wipe it all down. Uh, you don't have to rinse this off, it says, and then we will take all the drawers out, clean them, and take the hardware off. Now that we've finished the prep work, we're gonna start painting. You might have caught it earlier that I was gonna use Annie Sloan paint, but I've changed my mind and I've decided to use General Finishes Milk Paint in Lamp Black, along with an Annie Sloan uh, flat synthetic bristle brush. So we're gonna take our paint and try to do long linear kind of strokes. Um, in sections. We're not going to really try to go all over. We're not going for a really textured look on this piece. It's actually for my husband in the, our bedroom. And so he wants kind of a really masculine, you know, classic look to it. So we're not doing anything super crazy, no transfers, anything like that. But I think if I go up and down it like this, it'll be the best for a smooth lick. Uh, you can certainly sand between coats if you want like a really buttery smooth, or you can spray this paint. But for this little bit of a project, I just thought it'd be easier just to grab my brush and paint it up for him. Also, if you've seen other one of, of my videos talk about milk paint, that's referring to Miss Mustard Seed milk paint. And that is a chippy powdered milk paint. Um, this paint, even though it is also called milk paint, does not create a chippy antique effect. Also, it does not have to have a top coat if you don't want it to. If you have a high traffic area, you certainly can top coat it with a wax or a poly, but you don't have to. Here we have one coat done and dried on this side. It turned out great, and on the top, um, I could sand it with a 220 sanding sponge here if I wanted to make it super smooth, but I wanted to show you what happens if you have an issue. So on this side, our paint kind of drug and ruined a little bit, and I don't know if it's just too humid in our garage, or, because um, it's about 100 degrees out right now, uh, or if there was something on the surface here. So what we're gonna do, before we put our second coat of paint on, we're gonna sand it with a, a light sanding sponge. So either like a fine to medium grit sander, or this is a 221. We're just gonna give it a light sand here. And then we're good. There's still a little bit there, rough on there. We're gonna basically sand all the old off then um, you can re-clean it and try to paint again, or you can put a layer of shellac on there before you paint the next layer. So we'll do that, put a second coat on, put all the drawers in and show you what it looks like. While our paint is drying, we're gonna put the hardware on the drawers. We decided not to paint them or actually do anything to them because we love the way they look like this and it kind of fits the masculine look we're going for. So I've measured where I need to put these handles. These are just kind of screwing ones. They aren't the ones that go all the way through. And because this is just for us, we're not even gonna fill the, the hole from the old handle because our cup hole will cover it. So I have it lined up to where I want it. And I'm gonna drill a small pilot hole where I've marked. And not all the way through either, just a little bit so it doesn't bust open when you start to put the other screw in there, but we're not going all the way through. So do that, put my handle on.
get my little tiny screws. Ooh. Start them in, but don't go all the way in this kind of handle so you can line it back up where you need. And then I kind of make sure that it's straight and where I want it. And sometimes I remeasure. And then I go all the way down with that. And we have a, a cup pull on our drawer. Hope you enjoyed this quick furniture flip. As always, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can find us all over social media under Originally Worn. Happy painting!